We're just outside Ferris, Texas. And at his small house near Ferris, Texas, George Rebellis. I was shocked. Had quite a story to tell. And that's putting it mildly. A story about his trip to downtown Ferris and the Souls Harbor thrift store to dig through their collection of cassettes and CDs. And I'll be taking care of business. Bachman Turner Overdrive is the 1970s treasure he found. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're, they're, they're consistently good. Uh, but when he opened it, this was inside. It wasn't uh, until I turned it over that uh, I noticed that what it was. An original black and white Polaroid, the date, 11 63 handwritten on the back. The Kennedy Motorcade, on that fateful day. Of course, realized immediately that this was a, an unpublished photograph. It just struck me as odd to find in a CD case. How this picture could have ended up in the small town thrift store fascinates me. Fact you fascinates have... someone else too, another Ferris. This time, Ferris with an A at a favorite location. I mean, I paid for it. <laughs> My name's on the wall up there. The JFK historian <laughs> is responsible for the bronze plaques and the beacon on the Lovefield runway, marking where, after the assassination, Lyndon Johnson took the oath of office aboard Air Force One. To me, it's, it's the most historical landmark in Dallas. But as for George Rebellis' historical picture. In kind of giving you the antiques roadshow uh, <laughs> interpretation here. He says it might not be that valuable. A mystery. On the best educated guess, he sees an old hotel in the background. And that matches. Telling him the picture was taken as the president was leaving Love Field. The turn left onto Mockingbird Lane. And a passenger side door is firmly closed. Later in the drive, Governor Connolly leaves it slightly ajar when the president suggests they stop to shake hands in the crowd. If someone thinks this is of uh, high monetary value, uh, prepare yourself to be underwhelmed or disappointed. Not news that George back in the other Ferris would be all that happy to hear, but he'd still like to know who took the picture, how it ended up in a CD case in a small town thrift store. I'm not a huge conspiracy nut or anything like that, but okay. sometimes things don't quite add up. But at least adds up to one more grainy mystery, nearly 60 years and counting. In Ferris, Texas, I'm Kevin Reese.